discuss on how we can create a v app in our power cli on our vcenter server okay so for this i will log into my vcenter lab environment and from there we will move we log into the vcenter server first okay and using power cli we would be able to do the migration or do the creation of v app in our vcenter server and uh, i will click on my chrome browser and uh, here from there i can log into my vsphere client so this is vcs01 vsphere client we are logging and in the meantime we can open our powershell environment and i will customize the layout here so i will keep the properties as font size i can increase so to have a better readability of the code all right so now i can log into my vcenter server okay so before creating a v app it is necessary that we should be logged into the vcenter server through the our power CLI environment okay this we are logged into graphical user interface and we would like to know that by which means we would creating the v app on which esxi host so before that we will connect to the vcenter server so for this we will type our command line here connect to vi server okay and i can write the uh our my vc vcenter server name which is a vcss01.corp.local so here we can mention the ip address that would be easily available for them or also we can mention the host name also which is this one which is css018.core.local so let's mention this one only okay so i will copy and paste it here so this is my vcenter server name and user as we have login by administrator at the rate vsphere core.local okay and password we can type it as vmware one and hyphen okay so in this way we have connected to a vcenter server now so after connecting it will show the vcenter server name great so we have connect successfully logged into my vcenter server next step would be this is the prerequisite like before creating a v app on the vcenter server we would be able to connect to the vcenter server now procedure one we will see we have to create a new app new v app on a host okay so for creating a v app what we need to have we need to have certain parameters like first we need to have the uh v app name we have okay so v app name we have to take which is our v app uh, uh, like before creating the v app that is name is required okay so i have given the name let's say app 01 okay app i have given the name okay and after that uh, we have to allot them what cpu like cpu reservation uh, how much cpu need to be allotted so that cpu reservation we will allot him for the uh, vcenter server okay so that cpu reservation will be in megahertz okay so four megahertz let's say for assuming i'm assuming okay we can assign it so accordingly we will check here in our code and we will accordingly we can assign it right so uh, i have will copy this is code with the cpu reservation limit and the location where we want to have the so i will check it here and i will log in by so i will customize my code here okay so uh, which vm host i would like to take i am on the esxi host 01a okay in this you can see esxi 01a.core.local so i will take this esxi host so i will customize my command from here only esx hyphen 01a.core.local okay and after that this is the location and cpu limit also so this is the v app name i have given of my v newly or you can say i can give the app simply so this command i can copy and i will uh, ensure that it would be paste it here only okay so i will copy and paste this command customized command so our app gets created okay we can see in taskbar okay in our task also we can see here 
the operation is not supported on this object okay the operation is failed okay so let's assign some uh, come let little space for it let's say 100 i will assign the me megahertz okay and the reservations uh, here also i can assign it like 400 okay this is the cpu reservation they are asking for so let's say 400 megahertz and that would be so let's see, see here now operation is not supported okay so we have to check the why it is not supported in that case when we check on get task so in the lab environment i believe it's not supported because they have certain parameters so create vi error is there finishing time okay so we have to gather the log files for it okay it's because the creation is not successful on this part and when we check on our configure part so here we switch is default vm location also we can check okay next time we will check now if you want to modify the properties of v app we have to stop that app and then we have to modify the properties okay so we will uh, ensure that our v app gets uh, come first okay so this is the process uh, like we have seen on triggered alarm all issues they are not there when we take, check the task list this can be MFS power on the virtual machine scan on the HPA initialized case operating system. Okay, so here it's not mentioned that why uh, it's failing because there are no alarms also. So in our V app, when we try to explore it, so this lab has certain restrictions which is not allowing us to uh, create this object for the V app okay you can try once again by giving it another name basically so even if we have to create a v app there have to be certain reservations in that so we can check on esxi on host side how much storage is there one disk is there 5 gb capacity is there cpu limit when we check on the summary part so when we check the cpu there are two into 2.1 gigahertz cpu cores one sockets okay so we have to limit this let's try again by limiting the values If I give 1000, the limit we are depreciating. So, with this, I am trying to create, let's say, operation is not supported on this object. Okay, even if this we have tried, it's not supported. But anyway, we have seen that how we can uh, check it by the creation of a V app on our V center server. So, thank you for watching. We can proceed for our next part in our next video by more on our v app exporting and importing it thank you